Well, the positives, obviously, you know, nearly scoring 100 points over in Melbourne, which is pleasing. Um, so there was, a, there was a lot of good things to like. Um, some of our contest work was very good at times as well. I thought we defended inside our D50 pretty well when they had 60-plus entries and um, reduced them to under 50% scoring shots. So that was um, better than, than what it has been. Um, just unfortunately, we, we did let them score too much, though. So that, those weight of entries eventually just got us a little bit. Um, which was disappointing. So there was things that we fixed at half time that worked quite well, and then a couple of other areas opened up which we couldn't quite um, get done properly. Well, it's always, it gets a little bit awkward because opposition are changing up all the time. So there might be one or two things happening in the first uh, 15 minutes, and then things can change later in quarters or the start of the next quarter. Um, the other one, of course, is your, your rotations at times. You can have a chat to one or two players and then someone else finds them in different positions. So a lot of that stuff that happened on the weekend is more about education and learning throughout the week, um, which we obviously do a lot of, but it's when your heart rate's 200 beats a minute and your legs are full of lactic, sometimes you can um, not make the right decisions. And that when you, that's when you need your teammates around you, like you're talking about leadership, that loud voice and that demand to make sure we set up and structure well um, when we've got the opportunity. Yeah, I'd say so. I think there was a bit of synergy as well, to tell you the truth. I thought that sometimes we're out, we, we worked the ball quite nicely and just that last little bit of connection between forwards and mids probably, um, whether I got a hit back up or whether we had to uh, kick it over the back to the lengthening forward, there was a little bit of that. And, um, that can take a little bit of time sometimes. With, we talk about shared experience in the past. that We haven't had a lot of these players play a lot of football together, so they're still learning about each other a fair bit in a lot of situations. Um, overall, I, th I thought, the, you know, like I said, to, to go in side 50 um, probably less than 50 times and still nearly kick 100 points, there was a lot to like about our offence. Oh, for me, it wasn't surprising. I mean, he's a terrifically hard trainer, extremely professional. So even though he hadn't played games, he'd been fit. Like, there was no injuries to his legs or anything like that. So he'd done a lot of the pre-season, a lot of the match sim. Um, and so none of that. Like, <laughs> he's got history, hasn't he, over his career that he can perform um, at the top level. And he was terrific last year for us. And he, he certainly started pretty well in his first game back. Yeah, I still think lots, a lot of that's got to do physically being prepared. Like he, he had a lot of confidence in his body that he'd done the work, so that helps. Um, so far this season, you've got a one-point loss and after the siren of the win, a four-point loss. What does that kind of, what does that kind of do to, to a group so many close games so far? Yeah. Well, it means you're in the games. Um, Look, it's it's a funny game for the Innes that we could be 3-1 and we could be 0-4. Um, all, all going on one kick <laughs> towards the end of a game. Uh, but look, it's... Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of things we are doing well. I mean, we, we always seem to come in here and harp on, um, I guess, the media outcry after a game or the emotion of supporters where things aren't quite working and we get passionate about it and as coaches we get frustrated. But... We've come a long way in the last 12 months. Um, unfortunately, not getting the results at this point in time. Um, there's a couple of big games coming up with Richmond and the Doggies too, which we were lucky enough to go watch them Saturday night. Um, so they're going to be big tests for us. Um, and we want to go that next level, that next step, and be able to perform against these bigger teams. And um, unfortunately, we, we won three instead of 2-2 two, two or 3-1. But um, we'll move on, soldier on, five days to Richmond, and we'll just make sure that we're up and about um, ready to take them on. Yeah.
Well, the belief was starting to unfold last year. You know, we had those couple of good results early and against better teams, even Melbourne mid-year. So that belief was there. Now it's more just about consistency of performance. Um, the, the positive position that we're in compared to last year is that we've got a pretty fit list. And uh, like I said on radio earlier today, you've probably the eight to ten players who are playing SANFL football. There's not much difference between the eight or ten that are playing senior football. So they, they've really closed the gap. Um, there's pressure on players above to perform and the good thing about the boys underneath, they're not just playing one game and nearly a chance to come in. They've got to put a good month of footy, bank uh, some good games together to be getting an opportunity to come up and, and play at senior level. Yeah, you haven't seen him yet. Um, yeah, I'm glad it's a hit because initially when he pulled up I thought it was a soft tissue. Um, yeah, it's just a hit pointer which can, can be pretty nasty. He was really battling to run. Generally, one to two days post game he's going to be at his source so um, look if he's up and running and looking okay tomorrow he's he's probably a reasonable chance to play but we certainly won't take any risks like I said we've got a lot of good players playing good football underneath um, so we don't really want to take in any players that aren't quite right um, but we'll find out later on in the next couple of days anyway to see how he's pulled up Yeah, we, we haven't, in fairness, we haven't really seen this game that closely, the one just, just gone. Um, this sort of was getting played during our flight when we were getting over. Um, by, by all reports, yeah, he, he was probably one of his better games that he's played since he's gone back. And So that's another three, four weeks of football that he's put together, which is an absolute bonus for not playing for two years. Um, but there's some really good players underneath playing. There's, um, unfortunately, I think McPherson might be a bit sore out of that game, but um, Will Hamill... Benny Davis, those smaller defenders, and, and Paddy Parnell's come on leaps and, bound, leaps and bounds as well over the last 12 months. So there's a lot of good players playing really good football. Um, but in fairness, on a Monday, you know, less than 24 hours, we'll, we'll get together as a match committee and probably look closer at that probably tomorrow. Yeah, I haven't spoke to Seeds for a little bit. Yeah, so he's, he's taking a little bit of time. So we're just making sure we get everything right. Certainly not rushing anything with, with Paul. Um, you know, geez, he had a, a terrific year last year and it's just really disappointing for him and the team that he's not out there, but um, we'll just make sure that he's health's right before um, you know, we even think about getting back into, into the team or, or playing SA NFL football. No, I, I'm actually don't know where he's at, so Nixie's probably more up to date than me. Yeah, look, I, like you always do with all the top teams, you know, every, every team has got three to four to five very, very good players that are pretty influential. And then there's a, a core group of a dozen players that are just terrific soldiers and, and probably a little bit more than soldiers. That might be a bit unfair. And um, they'll play their role week in, week out. And what you do know with the top teams, that there's no easy ball. It's, it's a contest. It's a battle. Um, we've just got to make sure that we're prepared to put our head over the ball and, and embrace those scrimmages and contests and hopefully with a little bit of growth that we have had that we can um, use the ball well enough to, to hit the scoreboard. No, I think it was pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Yep, tough. Thanks, boys.